Hi folks, let's show just how easy we can use Fusion 360 to make this piece of pipe with this intersecting T, some threads, and the mated part. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. I'm in a new design. First thing I always do, right click, new component. I'll call this the pipe, and I'm going to save my file. The cap is actually a McMaster part a threaded pipe fitting. The part number there. In Fusion, I'm going to activate my parent component. You'll see why in a second. Insert McMaster car component. Paste that value. This box comes up. Click on product detail. Scroll down and see where it says 3D SolidWorks. Change that. I like to use step file. Save. This is going to import that part into Fusion, which is awesome. Click OK. And the reason I activated the parent component is I had already created my component for a pipe, which we're about to work on now. The McMaster is a separate component. If I had left, say, my pipe component activated, it would have put this component as a subcomponent of the pipe, which I didn't want. Um, so we're done for this for right now. I'm going to hide it by clicking the light bulb. I got a blank slate. I'll click the origin light bulb just so I see where my origin is. So let's make this pipe. Activate our pipe component. C for circle. I'm going to click on this plane right here. And we'll sketch a two circles. D for dimension. We'll make the outside one three inches and the inside one 2.5. E for extrude, I'll click this ring right here and we'll just say six inches. So pretty simple, we've just created our pipe. Now, however, we've got to create the, the boss up here, this T section. Go to construct, tangent plane. So it let your mouse hover and it says select a cylindrical face. So I'll click the outside of my part. And that looks okay, except I wanna make sure that that new face is, um, in this case, I want it to be directly above the um, X, Y plane. So if I click on that plane, see how it just adjusted that a little? I now know that my new plane is perfectly at 12 o'clock. Click okay. I'll use the view cube up here to click top, looking straight down on my part. C for circle. And if I let my mouse, oh, it's asking me for the plane. I'll pick the new plane we just made. And if I let my mouse at first, just see how I get that little box, and I move to the right, it kind of lets me snap to or recognize where I'm trying to do, because I want this at the center of my part. So I'll create two circles again. D for dimension, we'll say two and a quarter, or two inches, say, by one point five, and I'll make that three inches in from the center. Awesome. So now I've got to extrude the center guy down through. So E for extrude, click it, but then this is cool. Change your extent from distance to two object. And I'm now gonna come in here and just click the inside of this pipe. And take a look, Fusion recognizes what I'm trying to do. It switched the operation to a cut and it automatically extruded that cut down just enough through the inside of the pipe. Awesome, click OK. But now how, we've got our hole through. How do we create the boss that rises up? We can use the same sketch, which is super cool. Expand the pipe, expand sketches. This is what holds all of your sketches. And sketch two is the one that we just made. I'm gonna turn the light bulb on so I can see it. Hit E, click this. Now, you've got a problem because I can extrude it up, which is what I need to do, but I also need to extrude it down. Well, take a look, direction, boom two sides. Awesome. Side one, we want to come up, say, 1.5 inches. Side two, 
will change to to object. I'll click the outside of my pipe, click OK, and when you're done with sketches, this is really important, always turn them off the light bulb so that you're not seeing them anymore. Look at that, isn't that freaking awesome? We'll go to modify fillet, I'll click that little line and we'll say put a 0.1 inch fillet and make it a little bigger, 0.15, all the way around it. And we'll go to create thread, what's the face, this guy right here. And then I don't, I want an NPT, I didn't see it and I don't do a lot of thread work, but British pipe I think is close, and close is not always a good thing, I probably should have NPT, but we take a look at the McMaster part, it was one and a quarter pipe size, and this says um, 11 and a half threads per inch. The closest I've got here is 11. So again, that's not the same, and that's not necessarily okay, but for the purposes of this demo, that's all I got. And we can adjust the length, say to 0.5 inches, and we'll do a little bit more, 0.75. Click OK. How awesome is that? How easy was that? I love it. Last thing we'll do, we'll turn the light bulb back on on our McMaster cap component, and I'll activate the parent. This kind of lets me do work on everything, since what I now want to do is create a joint or relationship between the cap and the pipe so that I put it on top of or where it's supposed to go. To do that in CAD, you kind of need to lock something down, because right now I can move this thing around and I can move my cap around. So let's say we want to lock the pipe piece just in place for purposes of the CAD model. I'll right click, ground. So now I can't move it around. Assemble, joint. And what type of joint do I want? Cylindrical is the type I want here. And pay attention if you uh, are struggling with joints or are new to joints. In fact, I think Lars, uh, an awesome guy, just did a video on joints, which I'll put a link to or a card to right here. What's the first component? I'll pick this guy. What's the second component? I'll pick this. And look, I'm done. Click OK. I can now sh do what I wanted in this case, which is to show that cap. It can rotate. It's hard to see the rotation here, but you can rotate it, and it'll move up and down, which is what you could use to show how that cap would fit onto this piece of pipe. I think this is amazing. It's so easy. Now, one of the things I want to do, it's kind of on my list, is to get better at rendering. It's one of the really cool things you can do is go from model to render, and I've seen some people create some pretty lifelike or photorealistic um, images of stuff, you know, cooler than pipes, you know, cars and parts and, and machines and all that. And I'm a newbie at it, but it's pretty cool that that's built in. It's uh, something on my little bucket list uh, to get better at. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Take care. See you next Friday. Mm -hmm.